Hello and welcome to another financial analysis video. Today I'm talking about American Airlines which had a nice run up in front of earnings but has also reported a solid earnings beat $2.77 a share versus $2.72 a share. And, uh, you know, really this has been another great turnaround story similar to Delta Airlines. And it looks as if the industry as a whole right now is showing some solid results. Uh, now, granted, forward earnings estimates has there being a little bit of a dip uh, over the next year or so for American Airlines. But, you know, looking at the, uh, the performance information, we're seeing a lot of strong returns. Now, again low amount of uh, uh, equity in this company, high amount of leverage. So your return on equity, which is like 200%, is really a misnomer. However, to see the strength in the underlying operation, look at the return on assets, which just a couple of years ago was only 2%. Now it is at 12%. So there's definitely some underlying strength going on there in American Airlines. Uh, one other thing to note is, you know, there was a huge jump a couple of years ago in uh, earnings per share on a trailing 12-month basis, but still showing 14% growth. This is quarter over quarter, by the way, uh, in earnings per share on a trailing 12-month basis. Revenue is actually down a little bit on a trailing 12-month basis, and we'll take a look at another chart here. It, it ha it's had a good run-up, good growth here. And it's really starting to level out for them. Again, though, this is this is consistent with what we're seeing in the S&P 500. But again, just like the return on assets, look at operating cash flow. Look at free cash flow, which is now positive. So there's a lot of good things going on here uh, with American Airlines. And they're probably going to continue to go. I mean, I wouldn't watch for operating cash flow to continue this more uh, parabolic movement, but you know, they're, American is now the largest airline in the world. And so there's a lot of consolidation. Uh, consolidation. Uh, they've engaged in, and are currently merging with U.S. Airways. Uh, so we're going to see some dynamics here change, and they're really setting themselves up to be uh, a strong performer. They've just started a little over a year ago declaring a dividend, and right now the yield is at 1%. Expect that to uh, also increase over time. Uh, we haven't seen it increase yet. They've declared the same dividend for five quarters, but certainly with a payout ratio of only 3%, there is room there for dividend growth. And in fact, I wouldn't be surprised to see that at 15 or 20 cents the next time they raise it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy investing.